Hello, my name is Matt Allegretti from the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center. The objective of today's training video is to demonstrate how to calculate a population to physician ratio and create a thematic map based on that ratio. Ratios are used to compare two quantities. ArcGIS can be used to calculate a ratio based on two existing variables and display the results in a thematic map. In this example, we are going to compare the number of physicians to the population in a county for the state of California. This ratio will allow us to determine the availability of providers by county in the state. In this video, we will focus on how to calculate a population to physician ratio by county in California, how to create a thematic map based on the ratio, and finally, we will export the map so that it can be used in other applications. In this video, we will use HRSA's Area Health Resource Files for Counts of Physicians, the American Community Survey Dataset for Population Counts, and the Census Bureau's Tiger Products for a feature file of counties in California. In order to save time, the physician and population data have already been joined to the feature file of counties. If you are interested in learning how to join data to a geographic feature file, please watch our video how to add zip code level Medicaid enrollment data to a primary care HIPSIP. Okay, let's get started. First, open ArcMap and import the feature file of counties that includes the physicians and population data. Next, create a new variable for the ratio we will be calculating. To do so, right-click on the county feature layer. Next, open the attribute table. Click Table Options and then select Add Field. Name the new variable Ratio and keep short integer as the variable type. Now you can see the newly added variable in the table. Let's calculate the ratio for the new variable using the Field Calculator. Right-click on the header of the new variable and select Field Calculator. In the New window, you can see the Field section with a list of the existing variables. On the bottom section, you can type the formula or calculation you would like to apply to the variable. Double-click the total population in the list of variables and then divide it by the physician's variable and click OK. The new variable represents the number of people in a county per one physician. You can use this method to calculate other variables with different formulas as well. Once you have calculated the ratio, you can visualize it by using a thematic map. There are several types of thematic maps, such as chloroplefts, dot densities, graduated symbols, and heat maps. Each map type is suited for a different purpose depending on the data and the message you're trying to convey. A choropleft map displays a single attribute in colors across geographic areas. A choropleft map will be useful for us since we are interested in displaying how the ratios differ by county in California. Let's go ahead and create a choropleft map. Right-click on the layer, select Properties, and click on the Symbology tab. The box on the left displays the map types you can create in ArcMap. We will select Quantities and Graduated Colors. In the Fields section, select the variable you would like to display on the map. In our case, it will be the ratio variable we just created. In the classification field, you can define the number of classes and the method which determines the ranges of the classes. We will choose the quantiles option. This option divides an equal number of observations into each class. Also, we will leave the default number of classes at 5 and select shades of blue for the categories. You can also edit the labels, ranges, and the orders in which the classes are displayed. However, we will keep the default settings and click OK. It's important to be aware of the type of classification you select for your map, since each classification will calculate the ranges of the categories displayed differently. Select the classification that best suits the message you want to convey, and avoid classifications that can create a misleading map. Also, in general, you should not have more than seven classes displayed on a map at once, since it may result in similar colors being used for different classes, which can make the map difficult to read. At this stage, you can add more information to the map, such as additional layers representing the location of hospitals or major cities, or names of the counties. With that in mind, let's go ahead and add a descriptive title and a legend. First, let's add a legend. To do so, select the Layout view, 
click the insert on the top menu bar, select legend, then click next and insert the title for the legend. In our case, we will title it population to physician ratio. Click next and next again since we are not interested in adding a frame to our legend. Then one more next and finish. Drag and resize the legend to a desirable position and size. To remove some of the text in the legend, right click on the legend, select convert to graphics, right click the legend again, select ungroup, select the elements in the legend you would like to remove, and then delete. To add the title, click insert on the top menu bar. Select title and insert the title for the map. We will title it Population to Physician Ratio by County in California 2016. Please watch the video Cartography 101 Map Making Tips to Engage Stakeholders on our HWTAC website in the webinars and videos for best practices in map design. Finally, to export the map, click File on the top menu bar and Export Map. Select the folder in which you want to save the map Name the file, select the format and the resolution and click Save. To recap, first we created a new variable and calculated the ratio of two variables, population and physicians. Second, we created a thematic map based on the ratios we calculated. Third, we added a legend and a title to our map. And finally, we exported the map. If you have any questions regarding the content of this video or need further assistance, please contact Nafeen Haroon at nharoon at albany.edu. This video is part of a series on using GIS for health workforce research. This series was developed by the Health Workforce Technical Assistance Center.